Hey crocheters! So every once in a while I get kind of a crazy idea and and the one I've been having today is like what if I first off tried to design a pattern in one day most of the time they take a lot longer than that and uh, what if I documented the process? So yeah, that's where we are. Uh, that's my challenge, that's what I want to do. I was kind of inspired by watching um, some other YouTubers uh, doing different like design challenges in one day. And so I want to give it a go. We will see, we'll see how this turns out. Um, so yeah, I want to walk you guys a little bit through my process as I document this and I don't know hopefully it's insightful and fun for you guys and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is check out Pinterest because it's a great place for me to find inspiration and I love looking at sketch artists specifically for inspiration. So like this one here, Chimp Sketches by Pixar Vixen on DeviantArt is fantastic. I love how these look and I really want to kind of pull from um, the face shape that she has here. Uh, then looking further, I found this other one that I really think is adorable. Um, and I believe it's by Yori Decker. Yes. Um, and just another cute little chimp. Once again, loving kind of the face shape. So once I have my inspiration, I go ahead and I start kind of drawing out what I'm thinking. Today, I've decided I'm going to make a monkey lovey, partly because I'm on a time crunch. I'm trying to do this all in one day and it's already like the afternoon. So yeah, gotta go. So drawing out different styles top down and um, this time I'm doing a front view just just trying to help myself figure out which pieces I I need you know like how I'm going to design all of it going together um so it's a lovey obviously need the fleece blanket because you guys know I cannot crochet a blanket to save my life so fleece here we come looking through all of my yarn scraps yes my floor is a mess sorry about that um hoping to find something that I can use for this project so I decided on this fleece and then actually I got started using it and realized I didn't have any of the yarn color that I wanted to match it and it just wasn't gonna work so Cheating slightly. I'm using this older footage right now to show you guys the blanket that I am going to use because I um, I made this footage, crocheted this blanket, the edging of this blanket, um, a while ago and I didn't actually end up using it. So I just had it in my stash already with the white crocheted border and then um, a tan border on top of that. And so I'm just gonna use that one. Uh, yeah, I hope that's not cheating too much, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so finally sitting down to actually crochet. My process is crochet a row, write it down. Crochet another row, write it down. And that is how I proceed until it's time to start like taking pictures. Um, so I like to take pictures of the process. Um, that way I just have it all ready to go for, for my pattern. So here we're adding the blanket. I'm gonna start stuffing the head. Then we'll you know, tie off the head, finish it up. These, these are really important for me um, because even if I don't get the pattern written right away, it helps me to like know what I was doing. Okay, real raw vulnerable stuff here. This is my closet. Yes. It, it is unfinished, obviously. You can see those wood beams. Anyway, but I wanted to show you guys this because it's important to know you don't have to have a perfect setup. You don't have to have everything beautiful and lovely in order to make good crochet patterns. Um, so, so this is my setup. It's on my dresser in my closet. Yes, I have um, a like five pronged light so I can have enough light in this little area, but that's basically all I have. I've got my boom arm. I'm taking pictures on my phone. I'm using my nose to take pictures so that I can have my hands in those pictures. So not glamorous at all, but you guys, it works. Um, this is also where I will like do my crochet alongs. So just two white pieces of foam core and yep, that's it. 
All right, so now we're ready to work on the arms. And on this one, I wanna do something different. I want to have fingers, kind of like the koala. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. Um, also pro tip here, attaching the ears. Use crochet hooks to hold things in place because pins don't cut it. So um, now I'm just gonna try and finish up the arm and I'm trying to get the right length. Um, so that's why you'll see it, me holding it up against the monkey to see if I like the length. Once you've got the, the arms done, it's just attaching. And obviously I use a crochet hook to do that. I think it's faster. And then you're done. At least I think you're done. We're done for tonight. So whether this is officially done or not, this is how far we're getting. Oh, look what I did. I put the blanket on upside down. Again. Ah! So frustrating. I would say overall, I'm pretty darn happy with it. I think it's really cute. The only thing I'm questioning is a mouth. In the original sketch, I have a mouth and it, it looks to me like it needs one, but at the same time, every time I hold up a black piece of yarn, it's just, it's too, it's too strong contrast. So I guess we'll just see. Um, let me know what you guys think. Does this count as designing a pattern all in one day or not? Especially if I end up tweaking things a little bit later and putting on the mouth. Cause I think, I think I might. I keep, keep waffling back and forth on this one. So let me know what you guys think. I hope um, this was interesting <laughs> for you guys. Um, and if you guys like it, maybe I'll do more sorts of challenges like this. Anyway, take care.